Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Um, there are some other tabs. And for those of you that have questions on kind of the system tester in Metastock, we do have a very, very good help system. If I click on help here, it's going to open up my help and give you actually a complete breakdown of all, everything that's actually in here. Uh, so in other words, we're talking about risk reward index. It will tell you how it's calculated and how you measure it. This is basically it's a measurement of system open drawdown. Uh, the lowest point of equity line below the initial investment. Reward is defined as total net profits. And there's the index, again, 100 would be very high reward, low risk, whereas anything between 50 and 100 would be somewhere between medium and medium. Although as we get to minus 100, we're going to have very, very low risk versus, or very, very low reward versus a high risk. So we've done a pretty good job of actually creating a lot of systems you can use in Metastock, and I think that actually um, shows well in our system test that we went through and we did um, if we went back and looked at the demographic results, um, I think there were two out of the 30 that I picked were losers, and the rest of them out of the 30 I picked were winners. So let's go ahead and um, show you some of the other tabs, and I, 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 I want to show you how you'd go about learning a little bit more about this system if you had evaluated it and decided you wanted to look at some open positions with it or run some scanning on it and that kind of stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this help window. Right here I've got an order by order breakdown. Um, I don't spend a lot of time on this tab quite honestly, but it just tells you, okay, here's when we considered a trade, here's when we placed a trade, here's when we opened and executed that trade. These summary reports, especially if you do a lot of testing or have a lot of trades, can get very, very long. And um, I don't use them myself, but it's very, very good to have a log of everything that the computer considered doing and what it did do. Okay. Right here, this is just a breakdown of the positions that you had. Right here, these uh, triangles here measure trade efficiency. And again, efficiency is how much money you made, how fast. So basically, the more triangles we have over here on the positive side, the more efficient our system is going to be. It goes through a position uh, detail, tells you every single position that you had. There's a total of about nine, where you got in and where you got out, with a summary at the bottom. Okay. Over here, I do look at this tab quite a bit. This is probably one of the most important tabs I actually look at <laughs> because it's our equity graph. And, and okay, so right now we had tested a, a, a hypothetical uh, test in Metastock, but if we wanted to do be trading this particular methodology with real money, we'd want a good understanding of what exactly might happen to our equity. Uh, and what I'm looking for when I look at equity graphs is I'm looking for a pretty steady upward rate of return. Uh, I'm okay with flat parts, like right here. We, we have a very flat part. It took us a while to get into a trade on RSI. This is a little bit choppy for me, uh, and the reason I say that is I, I kind of want it to be a little bit more consistent than that in a trade. So in other words, here when we start to lose money, we probably went down to around $8,500, and I can live with that. But if we had gone down to zero and then back up to 25,000 and then down to zero again and then up to 25,000, that's not really kind of the, the thing that I would want to be exposing myself to when I was doing actually a trade with money. So the equity line, I would say, is a, is a pretty important thing to kind of take a look at every time you do a trade. And here when we get a little bit flat, we're actually, again, out of the market, which means we're free to be do making other trades in positions that we might have. Okay, so that, and over here on the system tab, this just tells us how we had calculated that uh, system test, the, the inputs that I had put in in the first part, and exactly what the signal formula is. So for those of you that are a little bit more technical, it's very, very easy to come in here and say, well, I've got an idea. I think it might be a really good idea to, to buy when this happens and sell when something else happens. It's actually pretty easy to go in and program that. In fact, um, a lot of times if you subscribe to like Stocks and Commodities Magazine, for example, every month they have a trading methodology. 
And in those methodologies, they usually have metastock conditions. So it tells you exactly how to get in and out of those particular trades. Okay. So in a nutshell, <clears throat> in the last half hour, we've really talked about how to use the enhanced system tester and how to evaluate uh, tr methodologies to find something that's a good fit. We ended up spending a lot of our time on the RSI system, the MS-11. Uh, it's a new uh, system in Metastock called the RSI Connors system, or the Connors RSI system. And uh, that one looks like a pretty good fit for the ISE FX um, New Zealand Dollar Index. Uh, we made some money as opposed to not making any money. So if we wanted to go ahead and take a look at that on a chart, see what the option, what the signals would have actually looked like, we'd want to go ahead and open up the chart. And so what I, I can do here is if I click on plot on chart here, and then I'll go ahead and close this out, it's actually going to draw for me exactly where I would have went short, where I would have exited, where I would have went long, where I would have exited, where I would have went short, where I would have exited. It's going to go ahead and draw every single trade that, we've went, would, that we would have placed on that particular trade for me. And up at the top, I've got my corresponding, this is that equity line. So you'll see the reason that our equity dipped down, and it only went down to 97.49. It didn't even lose 1,500 points. It was more like 300 bucks. But the reason that it went down is we went short, and the position went up uh, against us for a little while, and then it kind of returned to uh, a profitable position. So that's where we can really see kind of where the equity comes in, uh, where we're making trades that are good, and where we're making trades that aren't so good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and kind of scroll this back to the end period a little bit. Well, here's where I really kind of the, the road meets the metal. You can see how well this is working how it wouldn't have worked uh, in the past or in the future, and kind of get a really good feel for whether this is a system you want to look at or if you want to go into the system test and maybe look at a different system. But let's assume that we did like this particular methodology and we wanted to start to use this in our trade. There's a couple of tools in Metastock that are really, really extremely helpful for that. Okay, and I'm going to grab another piece of notepad because <laughs> I like to make notes while I talk. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of zero in. And let's say we wanted to kind of take a trade-by-trade -trade look at um, how this was calculating entries and exits for us. We wanted to, let's say we were really serious about the Connors RSI system in Metastock, and we wanted to kind of learn and evaluate and kind of maybe figure out exactly what was in that system that was firing off our buy and sell signals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my chart a little bit. I'm going to take out the equity line up here. And I'm just going to go in here and click Edit, Delete All. I just want to be looking at a, basically a plain chart. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, delete the objects from the chart. And I'll, I want to get out of like the system to a tester tool. And I want to talk a little bit more about after you've found a system that offers what you would consider a really good risk reward ratio how you would kind of translate that into a trading behavior or learn a little bit more about it. I think it's important that we, as traders, do two things. We don't trade because the stock's <laughs> because we feel like the stock's going to go up or down. We need to have a method to our madness. Um, and in addition to that, um, that we understand what that method is. And so this is, a, this is a part of the toolbox that's going to be very, very helpful for you in terms of understanding the trades. But it's not just going to help you understand why you're trading. It's also going to help you trigger new trades for this particular instrument or this particular security. And it's going to give you a real clear understanding of, you know, what uh, uh, it'll give you alerts. It'll paint buy and sell signals on the chart for you. And it's going to give you commentary. So let's just... Let me stop talking about it. Let's just do it. Expert advisor. Here, this is a, the uh, we just talked about the system tester. Now we're going to talk about the expert advisor that's in Metastock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to MS11, which was the name of the system. You'll notice there's quite a few experts. And while we're talking about expert advisor, I'm going to show you a couple of these other experts that are built into the program as well. But let's go ahead and uh, since we tested Connor's RSI, let's go ahead and attach that to a chart. 
and we'll take a look at how that would look on a chart for us. Okay, so it takes a second to load. You'll notice, I, I didn't actually anticipate this, but um, at the end of the day there was a New Connors RSI exit signal. So if we had a long position, which we would, because if we were following this for a while, we'd go ahead and exit out that. So it will pop up alerts for you and tell you you need to make changes in your positions. I'm going to go ahead and skip that remaining, uh, the remaining experts on the chart, and just so I don't see them again, I'm going to turn them off real quick. Uncheck all. Okay. That way it won't be kind of giving us positions all the time. Okay. Now I am, I, I do think I need to reset my scale axis a little bit here. And see, none of these positions I really like that well. It's just that very first one that we got. Let me go ahead and um, go properties. I just want to load in a little bit more data. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that one. Again, if, if I had pulled up this security, um, we'd probably go in and look at some other positions that would have gotten us long or short or told us other things to do with it because I'm, I'm not liking the buys and the exits on the chart. And that's fine. Um, let's take a look, though. I, want, I really just want to focus on the, what it will tell you to do. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to change my zoom to look at this buy position here. Okay. And what I've done, you'll notice it talks about here. Uh, what I've done is I've moved that commentary or this whole commentary window to this bar right here where this arrow is. Okay, should be able to see that on your chart. This is when we would have generated a buy signal, which initially moved against us, but then closed out for a win. And if we were trading this methodology, it would say a new buy signal was generated, and it'd tell you a stop price. The next period's trading stop is 133.75. So if I wanted to trade this, I'd put in a, uh, I'd basically tell them to enter a position on the next trade, and I'd say, and I want to put a stop down at 133.75. So if it goes down below that point, we'll go ahead and get out. Okay. Um, we can follow that trade a little bit further. The next day, it's going to tell us a new stop loss, which only moves it up a little bit. The next day, it kind of tightens. It still didn't tighten in that stop next day. So every day it's going to kind of update what that stop loss would be for us. If I come to this sell position here, the long trade is still active. The new stop for the next period of trading is 139. However, a new signal short was generated. So at this point we'd go ahead and close our long position. We'd go ahead and put in a short position. Okay. And so that's how, uh, in addition to kind of giving you the trade by trade results, it's going to say it's going to tell you a little bit more about the Connors RSI system. And it's basically going to say this is um, based on a November 2007 issue of Stocks and Commodities magazine. A two-period RSI is this. The exits are based on IntelliStops, which are new to Metastock version 11. So what it's basically doing is it's telling us exactly where uh, we can go in and actually research and find out, maybe pull that issue of 2007 read up on what the RSI is and how it does um, its analysis and its ranking. Okay. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.